the rules. XMG. TLO is hot, by the way. Oh, yeah, we are ready. Yep. <laughs> Stefano was the, the pink power ranger. So, yeah, we're going to see Stefano against uh, Liquid Hack on uh, Metalopolis. I'm uh, really looking forward to this best series. Well, there we do see uh, Dignitas' very own Naniwa. I'm not sure if he's playing for Ryu already or not. I think he only There's plays Stefano as well. So. Yeah, but Na Naniwa plays later today. Yeah. yeah. I like Nani Wama. I really like the Dignitas hoodies, hoodies by the way. Yes. Like mad props, awesome. to yeah. mad props to Dignitas for designing those hoodies. Uh, that's actually the coolest gaming hoodie I've seen. I really like the old, the old, really old mouse port hoodies. Yes. The one that Knopf got in like 2007. Yeah, yeah I think it was from Kappa. Yeah, from yeah. Kappa, the yeah. black yeah. ones. Yes. That was really good too. Some gaming gears is really <laughs> awesome. Good luck, like fun hood. <laughs> hook. <laughs> hook. Dream hook. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here we go. We see both players on your screen. Millennium Stefano, still a very young player against Liquid's Hawk. Um, yeah, small info about Stefano. Uh, we were talking about this yesterday as well. I'm not sure if I even mentioned it on stream or not. But Stefano. Stunningly good at reading his opponent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's Stefano. <laughs> Oh, I, are you suggesting, su suggesting something? No, oh. I played him offline as well. He's a, he's really really strong. Yeah, I, I met him in France at the Desmedion Trophy in the final. I know. So here we go with the first. Uh, what's this? No, these are not the same group, right? This is the first game of their group. Yeah, because yes. this is the group of Naruto and Insolence as well. So first <coughs> game of these two guys on the home story cup three. Second day here in Prefeld. And yeah, interesting side note by Stefano is that Stefano apparently never, ever, ever reads any uh, community sites, gaming websites whatsoever. He doesn't? No, he doesn't watch streams, he never watched anything. And that's funny because he was a Warcraft 3 pro gamer as well. Yes. And he used to be like a practice partner of Grubby, right? Yes, So yes. Um, during some land, I'm not sure which one it was, uh, Grubby for the first time met Stefano, which was like two months ago. Yeah. And Grubby went to him, he's like, hey man. And then Stefano said like, hey, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> to Grubby. <laughs> <laughs> and Grubby's like, it's me, Grubby, and Stefano, like, oh, and the like, nice to meet you. How can you not know? <laughs> and then Stefano explained that uh, yeah, he has a different life outside of pro gaming, he said. And yeah, he doesn't waste, he said, I don't waste my time browsing around the internet and reading about stuff or oh. reading about people's life. Yeah, you can actually train much more efficiently if you spend like a couple yeah. of hours surfing and, and look, uh, watching streams. I guess you don't, can't really get that much training done if you want to do other stuff as well. Yeah, I heard his, he's kind of busy with his studies as well. Yes, I think, Stefano, he's I think he, he wasn't that good like three or four months ago, but, but he really improved now. I don't know what he's studying. <coughs> he's quite young to study now. Huh? Don't you think he's still in high school? Mm. I, th like I think that he studies, but I'm not sure actually. Maybe we should ask the French guys later. And yeah, he's <coughs> setting up his hotkeys right now because <laughs> it's still. Uh, no, wait. Never mind. I thought it's still also count, so Huck has to change his hotkeys, but apparently it's Stefano who. Yeah. <laughs> I think Stefano still doesn't have that much land experience either because he's still using a PS2 keyboard. And then he <laughs> showed up here and he was surprised that his PS2 keyboard, uh, he couldn't plug it in in a laptop. Like, well, that's something that's going to happen more but often. But I think right? it happened to Xlot as well, like uh, lately, at some EPS event. Ah, he's using Black Widow now, so I don't Yeah, know. he changed it. Yeah, it's about time. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it's about time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, there you are. <laughs> We are excellent, Ariel. Definitely gonna have some TLO casting later today as well for our fans out there. We see Hog right now using your account, which uh, you used to uh, boost Hog your account yeah, a little bit. He doesn't find game on, games on his account anymore because his MMR was too high. Yeah. So he searches for six hours but doesn't get a game. <laughs> <laughs> so TLO is explaining right now why Hog doesn't uh, play in Europe anymore on his own account. If Hog plays on his own account, he's not able to find a game. <laughs> <laughs> you know, explain that it's not only in Europe, it's also in US as well. So basically, uh, yeah, he just beat the game, man. <laughs> that is no guy, no one on the on his level. Not what was Naniwa doing there? I'm not sure. I guess Hawk was making fun of Naniwa because uh, I think Naniwa is <coughs> serious. We see, of course, Tyler in the back <laughs> as well from Team Liquid. Yeah. Hack is trolling Naniwa a little bit in the chat right now. Naniwa looks so serious. <laughs> he just flipped off the camera on everyone's side. Oh, uh, yeah. This becomes really a thing, like he flipped off. 
I actually didn't really know that expression that well, but ever since like is the Hawk Idra thing? Yeah, like H Idra flipped off uh, MC, and then Idra flipped off the camera after he left again uh, prematurely left against uh, MMA. And now I suddenly see this expression everywhere. Before that, I really didn't know that well. Obviously, it's quite a common expression, but it's not something that I've heard or has seen it at least being used. And now I've seen it used like four times yeah. in one week, <laughs> <laughs> like flavor of the month or something like that. So we are still waiting for Millennium Stefano, who is having an issue with his hotkeys. Uh, wow. Don't you just need SR for, y for your Zerg hotkey? <laughs> <laughs> Select Larva Roach? Well, I don't need more, but I don't know. He probably has some really crazy you know setup <laughs> if, it, if it's taking that long. Yeah. The best thing was like, uh, uh, just take now, like um, something totally aside. He tried to make like a, a macro for this keyboard. We know macros are not allowed in Stalker yes, 2, yes. but he tried to make like a macro that at least he shows how it works. Yeah. That you could like potentially build 10 marines with one click, you yeah. know. And then I was like, yeah, we were trying to set up this macro for 30 minutes and we failed miserably in it because it was really complicated. And then I was thinking about it, like it's kind of funny that what is illegal for other races, Zerg already has because you can just hold the button. <laughs> <laughs> it's still one click and you can make 10 roaches. Like, so yeah. this keyboard is not made for Zerg players, <laughs> <laughs> macro included. <laughs> So anyway, fortunately, everything seems to be ready right now. We have Millennium Stefano against Liquid Hawk. We see Hawk spawning in the two o'clock, uh, well, three o'clock position, and Stefano <coughs> spawning at the eight or nine o'clock position. Speedling opening for Stefano on Metalopolis. That's interesting. Uh, he got the extra. Yeah, he delayed it a bit. Yes. Tried to get his hatch quicker, but since the, the pro was blocking it, this build was actually oh. not optimal for for, for Stefano. He got I the hatch down, even though the pro was around. <laughs> Gesundheit. Danke. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Thank By you. By the sir. way. Okay, Huck is a little bit trash talking, <laughs> but I know that Stefano is trash talking a lot as well. So, they yeah, are 93. <laughs> Do you know that? Um, Cute. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> you know that like uh, Stefano always writes his thing like go go pink power rangers. Yes, right? I know against Cloud and Cloud yeah, got really <laughs> upset. <laughs> <Yeah>. Cloud <laughs> got really upset. <laughs> he wrote, can, can you please stop writing that? You should <laughs> ask Socket. Socket just ignores everyone in the metal net. Yeah. Um, I no, I don't. I only have one people, uh, one guy permanently blocked, <laughs> which is Lalouche. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if but you play Dirt, you are or no, someone? No, if I play a tournament game against some guy who Likes to talks a lot yeah. in game, I just ignore him and count down. Okay. Yeah. Then, you, then you will like to play against Sasa, because Sasa is the same <laughs> like you. No, he really doesn't talk either. Yeah. Like, he hates I, it. I think it's fine. Talk. He hates mind games and stuff. So here we go, uh, Huck with a relatively fast talk, he's going to uh, go for a little adventure. This is something that we've seen uh, MC doing quite a lot lately as well. Just send out that first talk and try to get some scouting information, which you normally don't get. Well, he saw that the extractor was late, so yeah. there's no speed link opening that, uh, that fast. Because if they go for speed straight away, it's, I think it's finished at 5.05. Five 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 oh five, five yeah. five oh five, yes. So in this case, he, he can walk on with a stalker a little bit. Yeah, if, okay. he's got, if he's got the main, it's all the guys coming, he probably knows the exact second where speed's gonna finish. Yeah. So it's free to deny scouting, pressure, and, and scout with that stalker. Okay, that's so many trash talk. Yeah, so much trash talk. So much talk. I can't believe that Hawk is actually playing really good while talking that much. Maybe we should block them. <laughs> <laughs> can we? F11? <laughs> Uh, no. okay. just never mind. <laughs> I wouldn't have done it anyway. They will yeah. stop when it gets serious. I this think. is three get expansion by Huck. Uh, I don't think uh, Stefano is going to do it, man. He's going to talk all game long and then like run with roaches. <laughs> there are some links running to the expo right now. Let's have a peek already. Oh, just a few. He's droning hard right now. He should be up to like 35 after those round of drones. Yes, yeah, so Stefano is always droning a lot. He's a very, very macro oriented uh, player. Sometimes he's doing an all in, but that's very rarely. And especially. I think he will take the third very quickly. Is there already a drone moving? I yeah, yes, it is. wow. He's got minerals. Yeah, I Roche played him worn. so often lately. And I know his, his style kind of well. And I know that he's extremely strong in the late game. Yeah, he, he, he yeah. controls his units so well. And he has an excellent timing, I think, on the Infestors and Broodlords as a combination together. Yes, yes. And he, it's like what Hapro did making Ultras. Actually, Stefano just keeps making Roaches, and it's just so hard yes. to fight. Because you can't blink. I mean, if you blink into Roaches, I mean, if you blink away from Roaches, you die already. But the imagine you blink in there. <laughs> that's a 5k push. is getting 5k. And I think that's really effective against Stefano because he loves to drone. Yeah, well, he needs to stop droning. In, in like 10 to 20 seconds, we have yeah. to hold that push. He's gonna get speed for roaches, I guess. 
He doesn't have any units right now besides Ooh. those yeah, he, few he, links. He needs to start building roaches right now. Links uh. are still uh, getting a nice sneak peek at the expand, and he did see the amount of sentries though, so perhaps he should trigger a reaction at Stefano. That's wow, exactly what's roaches. happening. Oh, really nice read. I mean, he got the roaches before the Protoss units were at the Xanaga Tower. Yeah. Now he definitely knows that there's something coming. He also got a no quick third and fourth gas. So yes. And uh, a small tail yeah, fire. That's, that's true. And I guess it's going to get speed for roaches and then just power units. 